what are the instructions after surgical extraction or maybe normal extraction i'll first tell you about normal extraction if the wisdom tooth normal straight removed the only thing is that hole that socket what we say extracted tooth area is open so food particles might go in so to take that precaution that food particle doesn't stay there if at all they go in the socket there is a blood which will not allow it to stay there it will come out when we do surgical extraction we close the gums with the suture and the one question which always patient ask us is how many sutures is not the number of sutures is that closure is very important when you close completely nothing will go inside and there won't be post operative inflammation or infection so the first instruction immediately after extraction is we put a gauze piece and tell you to give pressure and when you give pressure due to pressure the bleeding stops and the clot formation take place that is what we want we make you wait for half an hour 45 minutes if there is no bleeding then we tell you to go when you are waiting we allow you to apply ice so that you won't get swelling or sometimes ice also helps in stopping the bleeding so that ice application has to be continued every hour or 2 hours for 5 10 minutes so that the swelling is little less then what to eat till the injection effect is there don't bite because that numbness you won't understand the cheek has come between or tongue has cut come between and you will just cut the tongue or cut the cheek after that when you go home as i told you not to bite but you can take chill cold drinks milk shakes etc so that you get some strength and that cold fermentation from inside will not allow blood to come out again as the time pass after half a day or so couple of hours you can have soft diet on the other side but if you are removed on both the side then only have chill drinks or milk shakes etc and then when you are removed on one side evening you can chew little bit soft very soft diet but after eating don't rinse your mouth mm, no that will break the clot and bleeding will start so when you do on the first day there is no gargling no rinsing vigorously you take the water keep it in your mouth and just leave the water down don't force it out the force of the water can cause bleeding don't drink your chill drinks with a straw because when you suck it you might disturb the clot and the bleeding might start again so have chill drinks for the first day soft diet not and room temperature not hot not spicy sometimes spicy can affect the incision area second day when you wake up you might find little swelling but as swelling is not due to problem here when you lie down there is more circulation towards the head when you lie down there is more circulation towards the head and that circulation gives that swelling as the day pass one two hours the swelling will go down so don't get worried that too much of swelling as you wake up there could be oozing there could be blood on the pillow also sometimes but that blood is this much this much saliva don't get worried that is only blood of course we give you medicines before the extraction also and continue those medicines after extraction medicines depends on the dentist and you what suits you well only your doctor knows so they give you medicine as a painkiller for inflammation that is for swelling and for the infection that should not happen the infection in future so these are the medicines they give they give medicine please complete the course don't stop in between if you want to do any stoppage ask the dentist you don't have to brush that area in fact that day avoid brushing but you can use mouthwash just to keep in mouth and just rinse use your finger to clean your teeth on that night next day soft brush not in the area of extraction all over after two days you can brush everything but see that your brush doesn't touch the sutures you now we have seen patients they come doc i can't open my mouth what they have done is with the scare that you know if i open my mouth my sutures will open 
They don't open their mouth and there is a trismus, that is muscle becomes spasm, you can't open your mouth. So from the extraction onwards, do a little bit of, don't, don't try to open too much, but don't try to close also, speak with closing your mouth. Just speak normally, open your mouth and when you do gargle next day, next day when you do warm water gargling, slowly, mm, 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 slowly and then spit out and when the warm water is there and when you spit out, that time you try to open your mouth because there is a hot fermentation from inside. The saline water should contain salt, but if you have blood pressure, instead of salt you can take mouthwash. But that will clean and inflammation will go down. And that rinsing has to be done throughout the day every couple of hours so that you keep that area clean. There is one complication which people face is called as a dry socket. What is dry socket is there is no blood inside. And there is no blood inside, the blood helps us in healing. And if there is no blood inside, the socket is dry and you get some pain. We have got solution for that also. So these are the few complications and precautions one has to take and post-operative instructions. Subscribe our channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification on the latest video on dental health care. Live now, live healthy only on Shushruta. For any queries, please reach Dr. Sandesh Mahekar on WhatsApp number 9082840958 or you can email him on info at sushruta.co.